In this video, we're going to talk about melodic contour for storytelling. Usually, songwriters are starting with a story. They're starting with something they're going through. You're starting with something that you care about. You've got a story to tell. Sometimes we write a melody and you don't think about the shape of it at all. It just comes out with the words because you're so excited about the story that you're telling. But you can actually use the shape of your melody, the contour of your melody, to help you tell the story. So if you think about the song, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, it's such a huge song in our society and everyone loves that song. Everyone knows that song. And the choice of the shape of that melody, you know, that first octave, somewhere, somewhere over the rainbow, the whole shape of that melody is showing you like how far away that is, right? That it's somewhere over the rainbow. And we can start to think about that in our own songwriting. If you've ever heard Katy Perry's Firework, if you were to draw a shape of what's happening in the verse, in the melody, and then you draw a shape of the pre-chorus, and then you draw a shape of that chorus. The whole idea of, you know, you're a firework. So it's almost like the melody in the verse is like this little guy on the ground, he's lighting the, the firework. And then in that pre-chorus, it feels like it's ascending. It's just going up and up and up, and it's doing that great job of pulling you to the chorus. Then when you get to the chorus, you just can feel those fireworks bursting. So check out how the rhythm and the shape of that melody are really supporting the story being told. So working with a lyric, let down the curtains, let down my hair, let down my heart, let down my heart. Okay, so if I think about that, letting down the curtains, letting down my hair, letting down my heart, letting down my heart. So if we wrote that to a melody that had a contour that moved up, it would sound like this. Let down the curtains, let down my hair, let down my heart, let down my heart. It's not a bad melody, but it's not really supporting the direction of the scene taking place. We're talking about letting the curtains down, letting the hair down. So let me just reverse the direction of that melody so that that contour is helping me tell that story. Let down the curtains, let down my hair. And now, even though I'm saying let down my heart, if my melody were to go up, it would feel like sort of an uphill battle, like how hard that is to let someone's heart down. So it doesn't necessarily have to follow the direction, it's just to follow the meaning and the emotion. Let down my heart, let down my heart. So a song that does us so well is Bonnie Raitt's I Can't Make You Love Me, written by Mike Reed and Alan Shamblin. And in the first verse, they're talking about, you know, turning down the lights and turning down the bed and then how they want to turn down the things that she's thinking about. And it really follows the same pattern that we just went through in the song. So check it out. It's a really great example. Another thing you can think about is not only the shape, but also the rhythm of the contour that you're working on. So if you listen to Shake It Off by Taylor Swift, and you think about what would the rhythm be if you were just shaking water off your hands? And they've really just captured that in that chorus so well. So start to think about, you know, what is the shape of my language? What is the shape of the verb that's happening in the scene? What's, what's taking place in my scene and how can I translate that over into my melody? 